So again, you're gonna do a 10 meter circle. You're gonna use the circle to create bend in a deep hind leg and also more balance. Yield it out so the circle doesn't collapse. And then as you come to the last three steps, three, two, one, and walk. Good. as the setup for a downward transition. So get your bend. Yield it out so she doesn't just quit and move over. Yield it out. Half halt, half halt, half halt, walking over. There you go. And then a halt. As we're going along we're always checking in with her because she just likes to quit obviously it's, it can be a little scary to check in because we don't want her to just shut down but always checking that I have suppleness of the jaw that I have an energized yep over swing the hind quarter re-level re-level swing over keep yielding keep yielding into the walk into the walk into the walk forward and out and back to trot Oops. Yep. that's okay oh I like that she was responsive though Change rain. <laughs> there you go. And remember, we always want to have our preparatory half halts of us toning in through our core, getting a little bit taller, giving maybe a little bit of squeeze on the rein so she knows something's changing. And every single half halt has to have a leg component so that she doesn't just quit. And then yield over, yield over, re recenter, recenter, yield over, supple jaw, energize into the walk. Supple jaw, energize into the walk and swing and swing and swing and turn. So you can come down the quarter line, making sure your trot is established. And then remember, you want to use half halt so she's not flying forward around the forehand. And then over, use your elbows to cradle your body. Over, over, into the walk. Over, yield the hind quarter, yield the hind quarter, yield the hind quarter. Very good. 